I'm Margaret Ann Winter, and I'm going to put this on tape, too. Oh, I, there's no way you can put it on. Uh, all you have to do, I was Googling um, uh, Lee Brown because he was police commissioner during the Wayne Williams. Uh, was supposed to have killed the blacks in Atlanta. And then you had the profilers come in. It is the people that let it happen. Oh, better. Yeah, it is. I walked in my shoes, and I know who I told. I had the information and everything. All they wanted was me dead. So um, anyway, Lee Brown was brought to Atlanta during the black, uh, when Wayne Williams was supposed to kill the black kids. Um, he and Lee Brown, the black mayor, went on, this is after antifreeze had been put in me, April to the day of 80, and I had been illegally taken across the state line and was trying to keep it together in that condition. I should have died and worked for uh, Fred Simpson, the district attorney in Huntsville, Madison County district attorney. So I've gone on with this. It's an ongoing hell with crimes committed against me. I don't know what civil rights are. But anyway, I told about Larry McDonald and doctors who were in the mind control and the agency, and Larry Flint was shot. So I'm not going to go in and put all that. These are this deliberately done using mind control. That's how I was going back on the uh, uh, Lee Brown, because he became drug czar for Clinton, and he had been mayor and police commissioner of Atlanta during all that, Wayne Williams, then transferred to Houston, which is NASA, okay, became mayor and police commissioner many times over. And just to show you, the Fort Hood shooter was a psychiatrist next door at Virginia Tech, and um, he was found guilty, and these people die, and they're under mind control. You have to quit the mind control. Here's Terry McVeigh, and I was just put that on. I've always been telling about his was mind control. It's what they were doing to me, too, at the time. And uh, he said that the Army put a chip up his buttocks. So I don't know how I get back to this. I was trying to tell about, um, I went from Lee Brown uh, because Ron Brown was killed. He was black, and uh, he was the Commerce Secretary. But then you do a background check on you do a background check on me, and you won't even get the right name or anything. But man, you go back in this, and Ron Brown uh, worked for Jesse Jackson campaign. He had uh, was head of the National Democratic committee, I believe, at one time. Anyway, he was working for Clinton when supposedly he died in a plane crash in Croatia. Well, he was taken out and shot in the head. Now, they've covered so much up, and this is what led me to going down Wikipedia. Some of this I knew about. Vince Foster, yeah, uh, what was going on there and what was going on at the time with me down here in Roanoke, Virginia, up on, oh, wow. Anyway, uh, it starts telling about that, and then it gives a list of the people that died that were part of the Clinton administration and Hillary. Now, I'm not going to put some of it. Uh, you can Wikipedia it because I don't know. I know enough to know that part of it's true. But uh, they talk about the bodyguards that died. Uh, Tim Sable, um, they died, all kinds of stuff. There's lists of them uh, died. May the 10th, um, and, and then uh, Major William Barkley, Clinton, bodyguard, died May the 19th, 93. Captain Scott Reynolds, bodyguard, May the 19th, 93. All died when the helicopter crashed in the woods near Quantico. <laughs> oh, wow. Responded to the crash by saying security was tight with lots of Marines with guns. Firefighter was seized by the Marines. All four men had escorted Agent Kill when the, uh, carrying the presidential limo crashed near Jackson, um, Wyoming. Well, I've gotten kind of away from it. It was the Colby. Now, I know where I was with the Colby, and the fact where I was when that happened is in part. I was out here in Roanoke, outside in Troutville. It's where I was, though, when the Colby 
uh, canoe went under, and he was connected to Bill Clinton. So you've got the Vince Foster, who supposedly committed suicide. Remember, uh, I was connecting uh, this one through mind control, and so at Colby, the Colby. But you, you would have to, if you care, it's shocking. You're about to, uh, to um, elect probably Hillary Clinton, the next president. She's going to run. Everybody loves her. Um, I, I can't. It, it's too much. And so I'm not making sense here, I guess. So some some other people should try telling some of this. It it talks about uh, Vince Foster was mind control. He, but you get into this where there's a long list of these people that were murdered here. I mean, it's appalling. Uh, it's just one right after the other that were part of the Kennedy, the bodyguards. The Wachter was the only agent killed in the bomb blast of a. April the 19th, 95, that was the Murray building, and um, Timothy McVeigh was put to death for it. He was under mind control. I was trying to go back and see. Alan G. Whiter died in the Murray. He oversaw Clinton's Secret Service detail. In October 94, Whiter was transferred to the Secret Service field office in the Murray Building in Oklahoma City. White was the only agent killed in the bomb blast. Five Navy aviators, Clinton bodyguards, escorts, names not determined, died March 26, 93. All died in the crash of a E2C Hawkeye in Italy. Well, I won't go on because I could go back up to it and I, I wrote it down and I just I've got so much that's happening still to me. Uh, I can't find it about the girl that was connected to Clinton. I'm not talking about Lewinsky. I'm talking about another one that was shot in a Starbucks there with a couple of other people. But she was it was execution style, and she was part of the Clinton. Um, so anyway, uh, also Clinton is. Um, the Clintons are part of the New World Order, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, that kidnapped me, and they have their meetings along with this uh, illegal who's kin to me, sitting there in my home, spending my money. They're part of the New World Order. Look at, and people love her. I've lived on the street when they paid her to come through uh, Virginia, and I'm living on uh, the Appalachian Trail, starving and freezing, and you know who took care of me or tried to? The Brits, uh, the citizens of Great Britain. If this woman sold out, she should be before a world court instead. Look at them. Look, sold out Great Britain. I'm the legitimate heir, and uh, I'm the one that's been telling you all this stuff, and people want me dead. Man, it has been hell. I've got nothing. I don't even know if my sons are alive, but hey. You fix them to a, uh, elect her. You even got the ATF on this one. All you have to do is go in um, Conway LeBru, Todd McKinnon. It's people, agents. My God. I can't. Uh, I was trying to get back to where well, they go to the Waco. and uh, Yeah, it's where the Waco bodyguards die. Oh, my goodness. It's unreal how many people died in this. All I started out, I was trying to look at, um, um, <laughs> I, I can, it's just too much. I mean, I knew uh, all the mess, too, but I didn't realize all these people had died that were connected to Clinton. I knew about Colby. I knew about uh, the White House. Chief of Staff Foster, I knew about Ron Brown, but I didn't know this list, but I'm going to stop now. Anyway, I, this is not going to do me any good. I've put this on here put uh, for a long, long time, but I did want to get the girl that they shot and killed. I had it written down here, and I can't find it because I don't have someone working for me. I'm lucky to be alive myself, if you call it lucky. I, if I can, I was going to find that, though, so hang in here with me. 
and I'll get to that if I can. Drugs are anyway. I want